Hello Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I just think that this design looks absolutely gorgeous and I really hope that you do too. So this is my first Dixie plate that I have ever purchased and ever used and um, I love the fact that it comes almost like gift wrapped. So I purchased this from Nail Stamping Queen UK. You will probably know her as the real Miss Grey or Sarah R. It's her shop. Um, so I'm really excited to start uh, to, to use this plate. So this is how it looks on the back. You're going to need to remove that blue film before you start stamping. So you want to start off and obviously prep your nail ready for a gel manicure. So I'm going to be using this Kiki London um, gel polish as my base and it's called Zesty Sea Breeze. And then I'm going to be going over uh, using a, a no wipe matte top coat. Just on the uh, middle and ring finger. So there you go, that's what it looks like when it's matte. And then I'm going to be taking this image here and I got the inspiration for this design from um, Sarah R or um, actually you'll find it on her Nail Stamping Queen um, post. So basically if you love to do the sweater nails but you haven't got the freehand skills to do so then this is like a, a way to get, to get the look um, much easier. So I'm just putting this on as a like temp template really and then I'm going to come in with the same gel polish that I've used for the base and a striper and I'm just filling in here with this sort of the, obviously the sweater design. So obviously you don't want to be applying it too thickly and you want to uh, not be taking too much time over it because obviously the gel polish will spread. The reason why I'm not flash curing it is because I'm going to be sprinkling, sprinkling glitter over the top of this and I obviously I want it to stick everywhere. Um, so that's why I'm keeping the polish wet. So... As I actually made a hot mess of this on camera, <laughs> I actually went off camera and did it again. So it was much neater. So um, what you want to do now is get the, your, the glitter of your choice. I'm using Divine by Natasha Lee, which is this gorgeous uh, holographic glitter and it's called Bora Bora. And you just want to get some implement where you can sprinkle it over the wet polish like I'm doing so might be advisable to have like a glitter tray underneath you to cat to catch most of the glitter that's going to fall off then you want to just cure that straight away in in the lamp and then once it's dry you want to get a brush and then you brush off that excess polish and it will only stick obviously to where the polish was wet and then you're left with a super sparkly glitter sweater mani. And I, I didn't top coat this because I think it would lose that 3D um, glitter effect. And then on the other nail, I am just going to be burnishing it into the tacky layer that gel polish has provided. You can do this with normal polish as well. You would just apply your normal polish as normal, let it to completely dry. So you leave it to completely dry and then you could apply a transfer for your glue leave that to dry and then that kind of acts like a tacky layer that a gel polish has so you just want to really rub it and burnish it in i mean isn't this just such a gorgeous color it just reminds me of like a sea abroad that's just all turquoisey and inviting <laughs> and then you just want to obviously seal this in with a top coat i use a base coat first just so i don't contaminate my top coat so I'll try and say that as much as possible on my videos. And then I actually used the name of the plate as part of the stamping as well, just because the letters were smaller, I thought it would fit on the nail better. So I just got a lint roller and got rid of the bits of stamping polish that I uh, didn't want. Sorry, for some reason I didn't record that, but you'll see it now when I'm applying the second part. So I've got rid of the bits that I don't want and then I'm placing that underneath. Like so. 
And that's now looked a little bit too plain. I did come in and use the top and bottom hearts off of this image and just placed it obviously top and bottom of the writing. Uh, I just think it helped sort of, you know, get that theme coming across more and more. And this is how it looks all together. Like I said at the start of the video, I just absolutely love it. I think it's stunning. Let me know if you would wear this on your own nails. If you decide to recreate it, tag me in on Instagram. I would love to see it. And um, please subscribe if you've not done so already. And take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.